Hey everyone, Bob here. Amateur radio call sign Kilo Delta 4 Bravo Mike Golf. That's right, I have a CW transceiver. <laughs> I don't know CW. I blame the guys over at Coffee and Ham Radios and KM4 CFT. They made this so attractive. Learning CW is on my bucket list. I don't know that even though I've started on it, I'm going to be successful, but you know what? We're going to give it a go. I've picked up this Spark Gap Labs trainer. I've got a Putukig straight key. Yep, I've got everything I need except the time to pull this off. That said, I want to share with you today a really cool piece of gear. No affiliate links, just something that I think um, is worthy of being shared because a ham is out there creating some really cool gear that you might be interested in. Let's just jump over to his website page real quick. I'll scroll through a couple of pages here. You can see that he's got some pretty interesting gear. What is it that we're talking about today? It's this magnetic cover that they made to go over top of the CFT-1. And when I say go over top, I mean magnetically go over top of this. Now it's not a good seat yet because it requires the addition of four different screws to replace the stock screw. So I'm going to show you that. And then we're going to get this label on the HOA ham wall of fame. When I first pulled this out of the package, the cover that is, this little envelope comes with it. It's from November 5, Foxtrot Yankee. Tuftelin, I mean, I spent five minutes. Teftelin, Tuftelin, Tuftelin? Is it Tuftelin? Is that what that is? I spent a long period of time trying to figure out how to pronounce that because I get gear and sometimes you just don't know how to pronounce the names, but I'm guessing that's tough telling. It's tough telling how you pronounce that. Tell me if I'm right, November 5, Foxtrot Yankee. You probably don't need to watch me for five minutes, so I'll just do one screw here and then show you the finished product at the end. That is a Phillips head screw and it looks like a tiny screw. Yep, <laughs> and it went right over and magnetically attached to the cover. And now we're going to have a set screw that we're going to put in here. Let's get, uh, that looks like that is close enough. Let's see if that does the trick. Nope, too small. Next size up. That is it. It goes in perfect. I'm not going to over torque this. Okay, so I'm gonna finish up the other three and we'll be back in a second. So this is the replacement set screw. It's got a hex head and then I'm going to take out these other three screws. Hang on, we'll be right back. Whether or not embarking on a quest for CW makes sense or not, I can't really say, but I'll tell you what does make sense is protecting our gear. I am incredibly happy with this. This is no surprise to you. Those of you who follow me on the channel, you know that I will put a bag within a bag, a box within a box. I like protecting my gear. And whether or not you'll find this as useful as I did, it's tough telling, but I can tell you right now that November 5 Foxtrot Yankee did a fantastic job with this. It is so good staying on. Uh, it's gonna take a pretty good knock to take this off. And when you want it, tug on it, and now you have access to your CW transceiver. So you can go ahead and practice to your heart's content. Hope you found this useful. Talk to you soon, friend. 73.